Did you know? Every hurricane starts the same way, with warm ocean water at least 26.5 Celsius and moist rising air. As that warm air rises, it cools and condenses into clouds. This releases latent heat, which fuels more rising air, causing the storm to build upward and spin. The Coriolis effect, Earth's rotation, makes it rotate, counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, clockwise in the southern. When wind speeds reach 39 miles per hour, we call it a tropical storm. At 74 miles per hour, it becomes a hurricane, a rotating heat engine powered by the sea. Now the strength of that hurricane is ranked on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale, category 1, 74 to 95 miles per hour. Minor damage, trees sway, power lines snap, category 2, 96 to 110 miles per hour. Roofs tear, roads flood, power outages spread. Category 3. 111 to 129 miles per hour. Major hurricane. Structural damage begins. Long-term outages likely. Category 4. 130 to 156 miles per hour. Catastrophic. Homes lose roofs and walls. Flooding and isolation follow. Category 5. 157 miles per hour and above. Complete devastation. Few structures withstand it. A storm this strong changes the landscape itself. Every hurricane has an eye, calm air at the center, surrounded by the eye wall, where the strongest winds and heaviest rain occur. Once the storm moves over land or cooler water, it loses its heat source, weakens, and eventually dies out. But what it leaves behind, floods, debris, and stories of survival, reminds us how much power lives in the sea.